<laughs> now that is how you craft. <laughs> it's toy time. On this DIY episode, we will be making fountains. Woo! Let's go take this downstairs. I'm trying to look around and see if we have any other fountains that we can kind of get ideas from, but I really do like this one as our base because, so check it out. It has one tier, it has two tiers, and that's it. It's an easy thing to make, so why can't we make it? I think we can, in different ways with different things around our house. So we have Boo Boo and Clo Clo with us. Let's go and make a water fountain. I have brought things that I think might make for good water fountains, but it is up to you. Look at these cool things we've never used. There's this, there's these, there's, I don't know why I brought this, I just did. There are containers, there are these guys, there are sticks. Also, everything over here in DIY Darcy. Oh, guys, look at, look at that. That kind of matches. So I want you to use your imagination, use the things that you find, and just have some fun and make a water fountain. Sound like fun? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Me too. Boo Boo's got a really good start to his waterfall. I keep calling it a waterfall. What's it called? Water fountain. fountain. Do you want you want to hear what mine's gonna be like? What? Like a UFO fountain. Dude, that's a really good idea. Mm -hmm. Snowy, what's yours gonna be? Look, anytime I get close, she's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Dude, it looks great! This is the UFO, and then this is like the abducting thing, and this is gonna be like the water. Oh, man, that is amazing! But instead of it being water, it's the, uh, like the color of a uh, alien abducting. Dude, I love how you thought outside the box. Like, it's not your typical fountain. It's mm -hmm. an alien fountain. Yeah. And this alien fountain goes upside down. Mm -hmm. Look at his alien fountain that he made. Dude, that's legit. Mm -hmm. He's got much further along than us. We would need more melon. If you want to see that video that accidentally turned into a video, watch it on the Enzies very soon. <laughs> if you're sensitive to sounds, don't watch it at all. <laughs> I love her. I love her Jill. Oh, you gotta clean her little eye bugs. Mm -hmm. She's gotta, let me see your eye bug clean technique. Okay, watch this. What you do is you pet her head, <laughs> but then with your pinky, you just get up in there. She loves it. <laughs> get up! <it. laughs> you got it? Mm hmm. That's amazing. Get in there. You, you got see it? That? It's all gooey. Yeah, It's so satisfying. Okay, so look what I found. I've been trying to figure out what I wanna use, but. I also like to use stuff that we have around the house that most people would probably have around the house to kind of help give those ideas. Okay. You know? Yeah. Common objects. Common objects. So this would be a common object. This one, not so much. But you know what I could do? I could take one of these, cut it, tighten it, tape it. I'm going to do that. Boo boo. I like the dedication. Mm -hmm. It looks really cool. Love it. Oh, cool, cool. I can't wait to see where your brain goes with that. All right, guys, just like I said before, it's really easy with these because they're kind of malleable, which means that they move a lot. You can move them easily. And so I can have it cut like this and it'll still make it shape. So then I can cut this side and then, bless you, sweet. Then I can make this whatever size I want. So I don't need as much there. I can share love and make a skinny one like this. Too skinny. There, <laughs> that one's good. Like, now, I can make a skinny one like this. And you're like, too skinny. <laughs> I know, right? I'm like, man, I shouldn't have cut that. Here we go. This goes like this. And then I can tape it like this. Yeah. All right, now let's see how I'm gonna make these, cause the thing is, this needs a flat surface so that that can go in because look at how this worked. Remember, we're kind of just trying to see how this works. A lot of times when you see something you really like, go and investigate it and see how they made it. Somebody made this, somebody had this idea and they sold it. So we're gonna deconstruct it. So it has a base and a little knot. Then they have just one round circular thing with a hole. They have the top, which fits on top of the hole. And then that's where their idea to mimic water are these cool, fun little things. Well, look, this is the water, and these and the, the mimic for uh, the, of them 
making water shooting out is those little things. Yeah, and guys, this, this goes for pretty much anything. Like, you wanna learn how to make a chair? Go look at a chair. Let's go look at a chair. We're gonna look at our bench. This is an easy one to understand. Right, Daddy? That's how you start learning woodworking, right? What? You deconstruct stuff to understand how they work. Yeah. He's actually deconstructing a pool cue right now. Yeah. And then you're learning how to like to design it. Yeah, from doing it and she just wants to eat. She just wants to eat. This is like meal at 12. <laughs> but it's all going to her tail, so it's good. <laughs> <laughs> her tail. <laughs> So we look at this, Daddy, and if we want to deconstruct and somebody wants to make it, how do you look at this and deconstruct it? Into pieces. Just work backwards. That's it. it, it it's not really a stool. It's just a bunch of sticks and then a flat thing. Done. I can make this. So translating that into making DIYs, if you take some of your destinations that like Mattel makes, go grab a destination, look at it. How do they make it? There's one rectangle. There's a long stick. There's a little stick. And mimic it. That's it. That's it. Oh, I can't wait. Man, you guys are progressing a lot further than I am. I'm gonna cut it and give myself a top to connect it to. And then maybe I can shove something in between it. Cause again, you can make more of these to make that. Yes. Okay, so why don't we do this? I'm going to make a circle. It's a circle. It's a circle of life. If I make it a little bit smaller than it should be, then you have to actually shove that in and it stands by itself on accident. So I'm gonna make it smaller than it actually has to be. I did this wrong. <laughs> oh, that's the one you have to make smaller. <laughs> What's up, honey? Oh, right here, baby, I threw some out. Oh, You're welcome. Okay, these are a little harder to cut naturally. You never wanna do this on your own when you have to do that. There we go. So now I can cut a smaller circle. And I just thought I glued it wrong. Ow, ow, You ow, okay? Ow, ow, you ow. okay? Wash it off, wash it off. It literally just hurt for five seconds and now it doesn't hurt. Yeah, because it it's used just to hurt soft like glue. Well, it goes cool really quick. Yeah, too. we don't use the uh, space glue anymore because that's just injuries. Like that's hospital visit injuries. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's small but too small. Nope, needs a little bit more. Is that where like the tube is gonna come out? And then, yeah. And then it's gonna be like the pillar? Yeah. That pillar that's, kind of thing up? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, that's gonna be it? No, I'm gonna have another pillar. <laughs> it needs a little more. <laughs> I have just miscalculated my life. I just now thought that I put it the wrong way, but actually I didn't. Yeah. Because I'm trying to recreate this just so I can have like two pillars, so, and then these pillars are gonna be what hold it up. Dude, that's amazing, I like that. Out of the box, thinking, look, it finally fit, but it's not pretty. Hold on, there we go. All right, I have my one pillar. Oh, that can actually hit the bottom, so now I want a middle pillar, confusing myself. Oh, this is my middle pillar. I just need to cut around it. Oh, I can just wrap this around. I like things that just organically happen. There we go. Now let me take this little side. <laughs> now that is how you craft. The little song and a little date. Well, now I need my top for this. So that piece needs to hold on to there. So I don't believe I need all of this space. I need to be a little bit less. Oh, wait, I got an idea. I need a hole in this so I can shove it through and I won't have to glue and hurt my fingers. Again, this stuff is malleable, means we can bend it. What's the proper term for malleable? Bendy? So now it's bendy, but it will go back. And I could technically just tape that to that or glue that to that. I saw that on my hand. You From daddy. From these. <laughs> oh. That's weird. I am actually gonna glue this, but you could tape it, so it'll be stuck together. I know, that song got in my head too now. I should have checked this before I actually squished anything. No, it's malleable, remember? What does that mean? Bendy. <laughs> We're like learning. We need to, we're learning. We're at Who knew? We're at school, summer school, learning with Strider. Learning with Strider. Kind of really digging on my fountain, guys. You know how you can make a more perfect circle? 
-hmm. That's a band name, by the way, a perfect circle. You hold it in half, you cut a C, C. And then now it's an oval. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Good. Good. Nice pillars. Okay. How are you doing? Good. Ooh. Oh, outside the box. I love it. You know why I have the pillars? Huh. So uh, these pil two pillars are gonna hold it up, and then this is gonna be at the top. Nice. I love your idea for the pillars. Thank you. I love that. That's such a good idea. Oh, and then, you know, whenever the train comes by, yeah. it could be abducted. Yes, we got some Fortnite up in here. <laughs> All right, it took an effort of four hands. <laughs> and that meant nobody could hold the camera. So it's done. <laughs> awesome work. And now. Careful, it's still drying. Okay. I wouldn't touch that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go do something else. Yeah. <laughs> you come back to that, bro. Now I'm on my top and I just had an idea. So if I cut this guy, look, this is all from fiber plates. And I do a little circle and do it in like a cone shape. I can stick stuff through it and then use that to toss it down. So what I'm gonna do is it looks like it needs to be cut a little bit more. I'm going to put stuff in it. What did I decide to use? So I'm gonna get stuff that you probably have at home. Pipe cleaners. I'm gonna do two different colors because sometimes when you do two different colors, it gives it depth. What is depth? I don't know either. Dead <laughs> it. Huh, what's depth? I know what it is, I don't know how to describe it. Right? It's in my head. Oh, is it dry yet? Yes. I mean, is it dry? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Careful though. You gotta be super careful. Dude. Yes. Yes. We did it. Yay. In hindsight, we should have done it like that first, but you know what? It worked out. Baby, this mm -hmm. is rad. Thanks. And now I get to start culling the top. Here's my idea. Let's see if it works. Listen, sometimes my ideas are amazing and sometimes they just don't work. And you know what I do after that? I ditch that idea and I try another one. Okay. Now I'm going to cut them. He's cut, right? Yep, I need to make a little hole in my top, which I should have thought of beforehand, but I didn't. It comes right out. Yeah, dude, it comes right out. Cause I made it like that. <laughs> now I can just poke a hole through it with a pencil and not hurt myself. Poked a hole through. Let's squeeze this back in. All right, that's my third tier. And then this I'm going to have to squeeze inside so that it is nice and tight cause I don't want it to fall. There we go, nice and tight. And the cool thing is I can make it whatever level I want because I kept it where it's not glued together. All right, so now I have this guy. Look how fun this is. I didn't even know that it was gonna be this fun, did y'all? Mm -hmm. Thanks, so now, yeah. Now I'm going to mimic the other one. Let me go grab it. I want it, my inspiration. I want it to look kind of like my inspiration, but it has my own touch. Menu, I do. Huh. I just look at what I need to be building. Yeah. And I just recreate that in my head and then make it into something totally different where no one will recognize it. And then I just build it. That's a great way to think about it and to do it. Mm hmm. That's why I'm lear I literally have a UFO fountain. Yeah, that's very different. When I said we're doing fountains today, I didn't think you were going to do a UFO fountain. My fountain is a done. Oh, it fell. <laughs> <laughs> like, man. Oh, my fountain is done. I have to tape oh, it. Wow. <laughs> but look at the tears. It's like a cake. Guys, I made a cake. You made a cake? I made a cake. Who would like some? Me. Happy oh. birthday to <laughs> you. Okay, guys. This is my fountain. I like it. Thank you. All right, let me put it to where we can all see it somehow. Oh, I'll put it to Daddy. Look it. Beautiful, Nope. Activity. Can't see it. There we go. Why don't I put it here? There's my fountain. Beautiful, Mama. Really? You think so? Yeah. A little two-tiered, three, three tiered It's a three-tier. Nice. So what I could do afterwards is I could go ahead and add cool things. I can glue them. Or I could just leave it plain like this. I see what you're doing. The pipe cleaners are going to fit through this hole. Mm -hmm. And that's going to spit out. Yeah. That's awesome. So you need one more that goes a little bit higher. Uh-huh. OK, I'll help you. Boo-boo. Mm -hmm. Genius. It's a fountain in space, which means it is being affected by gravity, is why it's upside down. Mm -hmm. oh. How does that always happen? Well, this marker, when you touch it, it doesn't get on your fingers because it's a different kind. But why would you touch it? To hold it straight. Oh, good point. And you gotta hold like, it to like put it, to yeah. put it where it needs to And be. then it'll like good get point. on your fingers. Yeah, okay, all right. 
Talk to me, baby. So this is my UFO. Okay. And then it abducts trains whenever they go there, and then it gives them a little boost, and it makes cool. them go faster. And, Dude. And it has a little friend just uh, also abducting. Hey, it's an abducting and, friend. Yeah, and you know what? Uh -huh. It's another UFO, but look, I had to glue it in because whenever I put it in, yeah. it, it was moving a lot and it fell out. It fell out, so I just had to glue it. Last minute touch-ups. Nothing well, wrong like with my that. Last touch. Nice. I was gonna color the entire thing, but uh, I didn't want to. I love it, sweetie. Good job. Mm -hmm. Nice out of the box. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> That looks so good too. Oh my goodness. Okay, talk to me. So these are coins where they like throw them in. That's and amazing. That's a great idea. This is the water spewing out. The water spewing out. I like how all crooked it is because mm -hmm. it's like it's going crazy. It's gushing. Mm -hmm. And this was very hard to put on. Yes. I know, I had trouble too. <laughs> but you did it and it looks gorgeous. I love how they just came out. So Boo Boo took his, I think he went to go and show Eddie. But look at, don't they look like it? Uh -huh. It looks good. High fives to us. Oh, here Boo Boo, high fives. Where'd you go? <laughs> Where'd you go? Anyway, well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'd love to see yours too. Show me on Instagram or Facebook and we'll see y'all next time. Bye. Bye. I want to make a wish. Uh, make a wish.